Hello everyone! Today myself and Britt will be showing you a quick how-to video on how to set up a speed light and using colour gels in your photography. When using a flash it drowns out all the other lights in the room so you can use this method even when you have the room lights on. First you need to screw the trigger onto the top of your camera. The trigger will connect with the smaller trigger that we plug into the lights later on in the vid. You're going to need to switch the trigger on along with the camera. When using the flash trigger you might need to adjust the camera settings. Here the flash exposure is being put to zero. This is the neutral place to start to see if you need to make it lighter or darker. The white balance may also need to be changed depending on the coloured gels you are using. Start off by selecting the auto white balance option and take a few photos to see if you need to change it. The shutter speed on the camera shouldn't be any higher than 250 because that's as fast as the flash trigger will go. Any faster and the shutter will capture the photo quicker than the light goes off. For aperture, the lower the number, the brighter the image will be and will have a lower depth of field. The higher the aperture, the darker the image will be and more of the image will be in focus. For ISO speed, start at 100 and work your way up if you have to. The lower the number, the darker the image, but the higher you go, your image will get brighter but also grainier, so be careful. Alter the settings on the flash trigger on top of your camera so that they match the settings on the smaller trigger. In this instance, the dial on the smaller trigger was set to 8, so therefore we changed the dial on the bigger trigger to match. This is so the flash goes off when you press the button to take a photo. Plug the smaller trigger into the back of the lights you are using. Not all lights in the studio can be used with triggers, so make sure you are using the right ones. On the back of the lights there is a dial. Turn this depending on how strong you want the flash to be. To test the different strengths you can press the test button to see how strong you have set the flash to be. Lastly, make sure that both the trigger on your camera and the one plugged into the lights are connected by also pressing the test button on the trigger on top of your camera. Now for the coloured lighting part, you can be as creative as you like with this. We have many different colours of cellophane available to use including red, blue, green, purple, orange and yellow. But first, you're going to have to do a bit of DIY. The cellophane comes on rolls but you only need enough to cover the dish of the light you are using. But you also want that colour payoff so feel free to use multiple layers. You can even mix two different colours of cellophane together to create whatever colour you're after. But don't throw the cellophane away once you are finished with it, it can easily be reused. Cut off a sheet of the cellophane and wrap it around the dish of the light. Be careful not to let the cellophane touch the bulbs as some of the lights get hot and will melt the cellophane. Use sellotape to make sure your coloured gel is secured to the lights and you're good to go. Move the lights according to how you would like your photographs to be. There are posters up on the studio walls giving you tips on how to create different types of lighting. Here we lower the height of the lights to create a moody effect, also because we are on the floor. <laughs> we also position the lights so that they are pointing directly at our faces. This was to make sure the subject is actually lit properly and their face is illuminated. Now it's time to take photos. Get creative, don't be afraid to explore with different poses as it's sometimes one of the main keys to shooting a good photograph. With patience and a good lighting setup, you can shoot some amazing stuff. So have a go. Here are some of the photographs that we took that day in that very studio that you also use. So there you go. That's how to set up a speed light and how to use coloured gels in the studio. Oh yeah, and if you're wondering how to edit, stay tuned. Editing videos coming soon.